<coughs> when I swallow my rice. Oh, go swallow it, sister. I never do. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Students Recommend and today we are at SP! Before we go on any further, I must say I love SP! It's my alma mater so I'm very excited to bring you around and there's quite a lot of good food. I was from Kes, which now is like no longer a thing. So FC6 for life, okay? But there was a Japanese stall that had black pepper stir fried udon. Yes. You like it? It's oh like, my god. Mmm, sadop! Uh, it wasn't a thing when I was here but my little sister came to SP as well and I heard that they now have acai yet. Wow, atas. I want to try. So I hope someone recommends that. I'll slip them a little I like $2. Oh my god, okay. Renee, what's your favourite canteen again? I'll say FC6 but to get there we have to climb up a hill. Yeah, Are you we, ready for that? We not go there. <laughs> Are you ready for cardio and uh, your glutes? Okay lah, you know what? Let's ask the students around okay. SP yep. and let's see what are the recommendations. Sure, let's go. So I'm very hungry already. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Can I ask, right, what canteen do you recommend in SP and what's good there? FC4 chicken rice. It's cheap. FC4 chicken rice is sedap. Every hey. time the queue is super long, but then the food is actually good. Uh, FC3, there's uh, ayam penyet. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. FC3, the ayam penyet is the best. To be honest, every day I eat the same food. The Taiwan cuisine from FC4 and the extra large chicken shop is actually not bad. Yes, I agree. Nice. What about for like desserts or maybe like a snack? Uh, FC6 waffle is super good. FC3 acai. We've heard about the acai. Is it really good? Which brand is it? Uh, it's, not, it's, just, it's not brand. Uh. What about in terms of drinks? Milo Pink. FC3 Milo Pink is the best. Uh -huh. where, the do, best Milo. where do we begin? Best Milo. They have, SP. They have like the pasta also. Like the oh cream. my god, it's so good. Yeah, and it's like $4. Really cheap. It's really cheap. Yeah. The cream pasta. I think FC3, they just opened like a new like Chinese store and they sell like mala tang and like dumplings and gyoza. Mm. So like, y'all should go and try. It's, it's quite nice. I tried it. Okay, so after gathering the recommendations, FC3 has won by a landslide, followed by FC4 and, four and six. 6. I'm very curious about the Milo Ping at FC3. How can it be that good? Like, Is it gonna good, like, change our life? Yeah, I think so. Uh. Let's go! Okay, Renee, now we are sitting here at FC3 mm -hmm. and we got the food ready. So here I got the creamy pasta. Okay. I also have this very nice looking ayam penyet. This is the guo tie, aka fried dumplings. And this is quite a special creation. It's called a leek box. Ooh, as it's... in L-E-E-K. Oh yes, but this is recommended by the store owner. So I have very high hopes. And of course, when at FC3, must get the Milo Ping, yeah? But they do have straw. Save the turtles. Okay, so first we have the cream pasta, mm -hmm. okay? This costs like six fifty. But for this pasta, right, it's very, very like unique. Because right, you can choose like your sides. Like... The egg is so jiggly, I got very distracted. <laughs> Jiggle, jiggle. For me, right, the essence <laughs> of pasta is the sauce. And I wonder if it's going to be al dente. Hmm. It's very savoury. And I feel like the pepper hits me. Plus, the noodles is actually quite al dente. Oh, chewy but still has a bite. Right. The sauce is giving me a bit of Campbell vibes. Right, but a bit more on the light side. Oh, I like it when the broccoli right gets really soaked into the cream. Mmm! Yeah. Mm. They blanch it very nice. Mm. Oh my god. It's not hard to bite, but you got the crunch in it. Mm -hmm, oh my god, I love it's that. It's satisfying. Okay, for the ham, right, I feel right. It's gonna be like frozen, you know, oh, like okay. the usual preserved like food, but yeah. let's try it. Mm, it's ham. It's ham. Mm. It adds like that bit of saltiness. Okay, time for the chicken. Mm. To be honest, I was expecting it to be very dry. But not really, eh? Okay, I feel like in general, this meal, like this dish, right? It's like pretty average, okay. you know what I mean? But I feel it can have a little bit more flavor. Mm. Like, it got like umami flavor. So now we have an Indonesian ayam yes. penyet. Yes! Okay? The soup looks amazing. You can refill. <gasps> I would drink like, one liter. Fun fact, she said that the chef, right, uh. is from Indonesia. Oh my god. The best part, the sambal looks Legit. She gave us like ketchup manis. Cause mm. like she said right, the ketchup manis right, is her favourite. So okay. And they all made it fresh. The level of love and effort though. And this is like 580. And if it's at a restaurant, this will easily cost like above 10 bucks. Yeah. Let's eat the rice and sambal first. Right. I think it will make me explode. Mmm. Wow. Oh. It, is it very spicy? 
<laughs> okay, it's actually oh, quite but spicy. It's really tasty. But it's on the sweeter side. The chicken is very interesting because it's not the very battered kind. Right. It's just the skin, then they fry until damn crispy. Yes. Oh wow, the marinade alone yeah. is so fragrant. So crispy. It's tender. It is. But oh, that's damn yummy. Eh. Is. You know what? I'll eat it with sambal. Oh. Delicious. Oh, the karapok dance. The sambal together. Wow, fantastic. Baby. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Eh. It's really like kao until you cannot kao already. This is a chicken soup, by the way. I love chicken soup. Mm, it smells like pandan. Eh. Do you smell? There's a very strong pandan smell. It also tastes like pandan. That's odd. I wouldn't say it's bad. Yeah, it's actually very watery. Okay, I would say right, the rice is pretty normal. Mm. Every time sambar, right, it just makes the game different. Okay, we forgot the kishap manis. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh my god. It's like you're ordering two different types of chicken mains. Oh, oh, okay. If you order right, ask for the kichap manis. So you can have like two different different flavors in your Best mouth. Best of both worlds. Oh my god. It tastes like ayam panggang. Oh, correct. The correct. barbecue one. Let's try the tauhu goreng. But before that, right, can I just say inflation is so real. Because when I was in SV, right, they give you a whole square block. This ah. is a one quarter. <laughs> eh. mm. Nice. After I finish this, yeah. right. Also, I will then fold that until I will sleep in the class. Oh, oh, this is the highly rave Milo Ping. Look at the bottom, it's like black from the kaoness. Let's give it a bit of a chance because it's been diluted already. Oh, okay. yeah. Because it's been there for a while. It's kao eh. And this is after it's diluted. Right. Oh, wait. It actually tastes a little bit like McDonald's. Mm. It's like kind of addictive eh. Like you drink one mouthful, then you want to keep drinking more. SP Milo FC3 approved. So we got a Chinese cuisine staple, which is the pot sticker. Guo tie. Yes, guo tie. You're guo such a great tie. student. They, they don't look like the standard fried kind. It looks like it was processed and then they just fired it up. Alright. It's rather hard. Mm, you can definitely tell that it's not made fresh. And you can see the meat inside is like... It's like processed. Yeah. I don't like it. I'm so sorry. Okay, I don't know what meat is inside, but the meatiness is like a bit gamey. -ish. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go for the leek box. Hopefully, it'll be more promising. I didn't expect there to be like vermicelli and is that egg? Yes. I thought it was just going to be pure leek. The smell is so strong. Ooh. To the point that I don't know if you, I would like it. Oh, it's extremely strong. Whoa. Whoa. What's the chemical? Uh? Ammonia. Yeah, yeah. It smells like ammonia. So... It's them veggie. Mm. It's very dough centric. If I were to go back there and buy again, right, I would try different stuff. Like, mm. But I think these two are the things to kind of like avoid, like, I would say. Okay, guys, we have the last dish, which is the dessert. Acai! acai. And it's a cute little cup. She got the Earl Grey okay. acai. I've never heard of Earl Grey acai right. anywhere. Okay, so the acai, right, it yes. costs 3 30 each mm -hmm. after the fruit toppings. I got the Thai coconut. You see, it's white and white acai. The whole thing is white? Yeah. Oh my god, it, it smells like... very fragrant. I got the peach toppings. I got banana. Okay. It comes with Cocoa Pops and honey by <laughs> default. It's thick. Is yours thick? Mine, the Earl Grey is strong. I think they really steep the Earl Grey leaf. The acai flavour, on point. It's still acai flavour even though it's white. Oh my god, this is good. Okay, consistency wise, on point. Very thick, right? Very thick. Oh, I love that. <gasps> the Earl Grey is so strong that it's borderline bitter, but in like a good way. It's good. Earl Grey tea. It's pure Earl Grey. I like this more than the coconut. I don't know how, but it's not frosty at all. Uh, sign of bad acai. Mm -hmm. It's very icy. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, I shall brave it to try the coconut. Am I in Thailand? <laughs> it really feels like you're oh in Thailand, god. right? It's like those like beach side desserts. Very nice, huh? If you go SP, please try the all grey acai. After eating all the food in FC3, mm -hmm. what is your favourite? Well, a lot of it stood out, yeah. I love the creamy broccoli, that's one. The acai slap. But my number one fave will have to be the ayam penyet chicken. I like the ayam penyet, okay. the milo ping, the acai. If I go here right and I want a full course meal, mm -hmm. I have this three. Wow, damn the short perfect eh. perfect meal. Right. The acai is very appetizing. Correct. So it will be a good closer for the meal. Right. So now, let's go to FC4 Four. and try more food. Yeah, let's go. Now we are FC4. So excited. It's a spread of meat. Leh. Okay, so here we got some XXL Taiwanese tipa. fried chicken. And I got Lu Ro Fan. Good old Pai Chi Fan, which is steamed chicken rice. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is halal. Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? Uh, we should try the halal yes, one first. Because it's like the cleanest. Then right. we're going down the line of the more like zhong kou wei, the strong flavors. So are you team 
小鸡或白鸡？小鸡 ，I like 大鸡。<laughs> I would say I like the 白鸡 because it's more pure in its essence. Who the hell eats 小鸡 ？Oh, you can smell the ginger. Oh. Hmm. The natural like aroma is just like yeah. wafting in my mouth. But I wish it could have been stronger. Okay, let's go for some chili. I like that the rice is kind of moist, but it's not the clumpy kind. Right. The... Mm. That's so good. That is so good. Ooh. Right. And it's, it's like, like the heat is there. Right. It's the real deal. The chicken. Eat the chicken. It's looking tender. Okay. Can you help me cut this? Which skin? What the? Wow. Them soft. I love that. I feel like the slices were like because usually when you eat chicken breast, right, it tends wow. to clump in your mouth. You know, if it's very dry. But this one is soft. I really like the skin. Eh. Right. It's bouncy. Who doesn't love skin? I love the skin also. House brewed chicken soup. I bet this is as. At SMG, MSG. Mm, smell wise, there's not much smell. I'm gonna drink from the bowl, Japanese style. It's rather muted. The real test of like chicken rice. The holy trinity. I'm gonna drizzle some dark soya sauce as okay. well. Mmm, mmm. That makes more sense. It's a little bit of sweetness. This I is so like, simple and so yummy. Yeah, right. for chicken rice, right? It's very common in Singapore, right? It's very easy to make it warm. Oh, okay. Right. After one bite, you want more. Mm. You know, until you finish the whole thing already. Time to fly to Time Taipei. To fly to Taiwan. First, we have our bowl of blue roll fun. <laughs> you see the fat to meat mm. ratio is like. It's nice and balanced, eh? Yeah, it's such an art. Peanut. Yeah, oh my peanuts. god, they have that! Yeah! This is damn high quality, eh? Right! Ah, uh, that's Stop it. Stop it. Oh, it's a braised egg. It's not... Oh my god, this has everything, I love, eh? Right! It's like all the essential ingredients of a good low roll fun. Mm -hmm. It's here! I'll get a mouthful that has a bit of everything. The egg bits, the meaty meaty. Cheers! Cheers. It's not as flavor packed yeah. as I expected. <laughs> The moment you eat it, it's actually lacking some of the flavors that you usually like found in like a low roll fun. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. But I think right, the, there's too much rice. Yeah. The very little meat, the the rice overpowers the flavor of the meat. And the sauce is not that flavorful. Correct. I think because they use a very simple marinade, and you don't have like the herbs in more traditional low roll fun, which is expected because it's like you know a canteen stall. I feel quite disappointed by the taste. I think our expectations were too high. I'm so excited for this. Yeah. After the Quite underwhelming, oh, low yeah. fun, right? I I have high hopes series XXL Tifa. Oh, I feel like if I bring this to class, people will hate me. First, I'll make them celebrate. Right. Okay, okay, I'm excited. Please be good, yeah. A bit dry, but the flavor is bomb. It's crispy, and it's like adequately savory. Oh my god. I feel like they marinated it very nice. I think the part that you got is dry, but the one that I got is actually quite tender. Like she didn't right, but a bit more like the pasta malam kind. Yeah, right, like right. What I don't like about some Taiwanese fried chicken is the skin tends to separate from the meat. Right. Then it's just like flapping in the wind. I hate that. This one it adheres to it and it's very very nice. Okay, I'm gonna try one with chili. You it's find not, that it's very it's spicy? It's not that spicy. Actually, it, it adds more flavor. Mm. I feel right, if I'm in SE, if I'm studying, I need to rush some projects or whatever, but I need to eat lunch, right? I'm just gonna buy this and snack it on the side, I'll be full. You know what it will go well with? Milo Ping. FC4 and FC3 combination, mm. Milo Ping versus the Taiwanese chicken. Now after we eat, right, we mm -hmm. only tried two stalls here, but yeah. to be honest, right, FC4, right, there's a lot of like stalls in here also. You get mala, mm. you get nasi padang. Yeah. But if you are like new here, the chicken rice will be a good choice, and the Taiwanese food, right, the XSL Tifa will be very, very nice. And actually, I'm just gonna say already, it's my favorite one. Okay, I'm gonna have to say the chicken rice because it's so simple and fast free, yet it just hits. Right. So yeah, it hits home. Let's go to our last stop, FC6. which is FC6 on the hilltop. God bless you. I hope so it will be worth that. like the effort. Oh, you are. Then we recoup the calories from climbing oh, up the okay. hill. <laughs> oh, God bless. Okay. We are at the last location, mm -hmm. which is FC6. Can I say the tables are so cute? Oh, you like it? It's very colorful. You like what Hillshop has to offer? Hi, yeah, but the hike here though is quite. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw escalators and I'm like, wow. You yeah. only built it after I graduated? Okay, but now we have the famous waffles here. From Creamy Duck. Right. Not Creamy D. Apart from that, right, we also got some. 
They're like extra extra large. They look like golf balls. I'm not really like a waffly person, are you? When they were recommending it, I was like, how special can it get? Right. Their options are quite crazy, eh? Right. What is yours? Okay, so for my waffle, right, I got the milk cereal waffle. So it's like, like got like oh my god, flakes, some honey. Oh, oh the condensed milk. Oh, condensed milk. Okay, mine is butter cinnamon, Ooh. and it sounds very simple, but I freaking love cinnamon, eh? Oh, it feels very soft. <gasps> wow! Wow! Oh my the god, cinnamon the cinnamon smell. Tea smell is so strong. <laughs> I'm gonna like get intoxicated. Right. And I love how like soft and jiggly it is. Yeah. But the edges are crispy, which I love. It's the perfect right. combo. Wow, oh, so. Mmm. It's a bit of a mochi like texture actually. She's thick. I wish it could be a little bit thinner. I think because it's a little too thick. It's not cooked all the way through. Right. Like, I usually like thick stuff, but this one... <laughs> I feel like the waffle lacks flavour. Mm, okay. Right? Please do not buy the milk cereal flavour. What? Because right, the cereal inside the cornflakes, it gets too soggy. Okay. This is like fresh. It was freshly cooked, yeah. okay? It wasn't like there for a while. Would you like to try mine? Yeah, I, I would quite like it. But I think you should try this also. Okay. Oh, oh. It's unbiteable. I feel like even before they put the condensed milk and the honey, it was already Lao Hong. Okay, the waffle really got no flavour. But I think for yours, right, since it's got like butter and cinnamon, yep. right, the butter taste is very prominent. The hint of cinnamon also, it gives it a bit more like dimension, mm. I would say. But in general, I wouldn't complain mm. because the price is pretty cheap. Hopefully, the takoyaki the... will save the day. Takoyaki a go. Based off the appearance, right, they're looking a bit pale and anemic. And like, not all big things are satisfactory, okay? I hope it's not like the pure flour, right. that kind. But the bonito flakes though. Very generous. very generous. Okay, so we got the original octopus takoyaki. And it's drenched with like sauce. A lot. It's really Big. Can you help me cut in half? No, must bite. You want me to have a big ball in my mouth? Yes, same. We need to have big balls in our mouth. Stop it. <laughs> As I expected, the better. It's too thick already. Look at it, it's cavernous. It's so thick, mm -hmm. but it's not fully cooked. Yeah, yeah. Right, you can see like the batter is still wet. Yeah. It's very starchy. Right, the moment you bite, right, the filling and the batter will just be separate. I think they like to do the batter thick from the waffles to the takoyaki. Oh, damn! So, but if you all want to try like waffles, you are around this area, right? You can get it here. And I feel like you can have other flavours there. You can explore mm. it. They also have tuna mayo, yeah. like savoury ones. I think they got like a chicken ham. Right. For the takoyaki, they have different flavours also. Mm. But brace yourself with like... <laughs> doughiness. The doughiness of the takoyaki. Mm. It might not be your usual takoyaki. Okay? Mine are the two chickeny ones. Either mm -hmm. ayam penyet or chicken rice. Mine is like the three chickeny ones. Is it like the, the XXL Sipa, uh. the chicken rice and the ayam penyet. We love for, our chickens. Right. For like desserts. The acai, yeah, the acai I think tops the list. And lastly, Milo Ping. Okay, this is quite a controversial opinion, but I feel like the butter cinnamon waffle really grew on me. I think I just love cinnamon too much. Like, I'm crazy about it. Okay, for me, it's damn simple. It's the acai. Because where in the world can you find 280 acai? And I feel like the size is just right. For the taste, right, I think the chicken rice. Oh. Because $3, dollars, eh, which mm. is like, is rarely now. $3 for the quality of chicken rice is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my god, should I sneak in and buy more? Food. Why would you rub it in like that? Actually, there are some stalls that have since closed down as well, which I miss dearly. Obviously, there are a lot of new offerings. Like, I didn't have acai. They freaking opened bubble tea after I graduated. Right. Eh? How can this be allowed? I mean, because I think when you were studying, studying, bubble tea is not a trend yet. Exactly. Right, yeah. That was probably the best for my finances. If not, I'll go broke. Thank you for watching this episode of Students Recommend. If you like this video, you can watch more over there. And tell us in the comment section down below which school we should visit next. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye. Stay.